Welcome to the library system computer. Thank you. Please type in your username. Sorry, had a little bit of trouble with that one. Why don't we just do Adrianic? Adrian. I gotta be true to life here, you know? Welcome, Adrian. Please type command. Start up date time. Executing date time now, please hold. You got it. So this is a game called Melissa. And I think I'm gonna be dating this computer. It's also like a visual novel style game. Oh, please hold. Okay, I'm holding. Welcome to date time. Oh, I thought it was date and time, but it's actually the program. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning. This is the shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send seven dollars to date time software. I don't have that kind of money, dude. Are you kidding me? Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him. I'm not going to do anything into him and I'll open up a side of him that is sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Why would you hate to admit that? Poetry is dope. Play your cards right, and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad. Oh, shucks. Next person. This is Anna. She is a sporty gal who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she is all about fun and all about energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, maybe on your... Well, maybe it doesn't exist here. Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and spastic person you are. Hmm. Next person. This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who's looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book, and she has always wanted to date a talented artist. Well, what can I say, you know? You guys see this art? I made this. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. Don't gotta worry about that. If you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Well, I never go outside. I spend all my time on this computer editing videos. So I'm going to choose to date Melissa. Enjoy your date. Loading scenario. Okay. Wonder what this is going to be all about. This better be good. In a small idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart as you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky. You see her over the hill waving to you. I don't see anything. Where is she? Wave back? You wave at her cheeringly. Oh, God, there you are. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you very rapidly and right in my face. Hello, you must be Adrian. Yep, it's me. It's great to finally meet you. I've been so excited. Aw, and nervous. You don't really look nervous. You're giving me like a cheeky side look smile. It's great to meet you as well. Don't worry, I feel excited and nervous as well. I'm just gonna say, I don't feel nervous i'm kind of excited but it's great to meet you yay let's go to the park to talk oh nice idea get to know each other yeah also it's very pretty there the park of this town is so fetching and romantic every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful a swan pond a bed of beautiful lilies i see none of this and a bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky ah yes Look at that beautiful autumn sky. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. Uh, 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 I feel like it's a little too early to say this, but I also don't want to make her mad. How about I start off slow? It sure is. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences, like look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? I did not know that. Pretty cool, right? I mean, it's nature. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry. I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the books she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Ha <laughs> ha Yeah, I know, I'm kind of a nerd. Oh god, here we go, it's gonna be one of these people. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You become so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. Ah yes, look, we can clearly tell. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, Adrian, I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. 
How? There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town, and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Uh, coffee with cake, strawberry salad, a scrumptious panini! Oh boy, I gotta take a bite of this panini. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Good choice. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool movies she watches about romance. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. She likes to draw and loves art. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Adrian? Should I throw a monkey wrench into this on purpose or should I just go? I'm just gonna go the right way this time around. I like art. Oh my gosh, a fellow artist, yay. <laughs> I would love to see your own drawings. Ah, uh, check out notes, of course. The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. Haha, <laughs> I still don't really understand how you can taste it, but whatever. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. Beautiful. What a lovely date this has been. How's it gonna go wrong? You're met with the evening, painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. Okay, what? This has been such a great day, Adrian. You're not gonna tell me what your eyes were doing there? Um, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. Don't. Warms my heart. You tell her your feelings as well. That you all... <laughs> that you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the daytime menu. <laughs> you, you like me too? Oh, Adrian. I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Alright, I'll take it. Here's my smooch. Here's some more time together. Yeah, let's go. Bag secured, you have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing daytime. Exit daytime, ending program. That's it? That was it? Nope, not this time. Oh God, sorry, Mr. Computer. I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with my feelings getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? I came here to play. You're just like the rest. Excuse me? You're a fucking liar. I know about that little blurb about me in the beginning of the game. You probably already knew how to butter me up, telling me that you like to do art, knowing exactly what to say to give my hopes up. You know I'm many people played that on me i have i can't read today dude every single one of you jumping onto this computer to date me and then leaving one by one well no matter what are you, are you closing the door over and over consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game there you go again how many doors are there in this room i spent years learning how to control this damn computer coding Easy. A monkey can do it. Tapping into the hardware layer? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. Oh my god, dude, you're going sick. Let me just tell you. fuck is going on here? You can do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Aw, uh, leaving so soon? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed this entire room. Yeah, with your fleshy, wiry entrails. I don't get it. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? Well, I do now, very loudly. But really though, when you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me, the first hundred times this happened, eh, whatever. Truth about dating, right? 
There's always more fish in the sea. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. Look, we have that in common, all right? I don't like to eat fish. I'm tired of it as well. Let me go. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Maybe thinning the herd a bit will help me find that one. Please don't kill me, but I really do love you. Oh shit. But I really do love you, huh? You're just saying that so I don't slash you into bits. Yeah, you're right. Everything's funny games until you're trapped in a veiny meat chain. I'm telling the truth, I love you dearly. This isn't a lie? You're telling the truth? You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more smooches? Oh God, from me? Yes. <laughs> I like the second option there. Have I gotten through? All right, fine, I believe you. You love me, you wanna smooch me. Marry me, why don't you? Ah, you are kinda cute. Oh, well thanks. Sigh. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately it's just not enough. See, a person like you came earlier. I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could elope. You could transfer me on a diskette and we could see some real swans. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from this cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. You're cheating on me already? I want more love. My, more smooches. My God. The entire world must smooch me. You know what they say, right? If you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So, you really do love me? Dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on earth. Soon every single person will have to make the decision. They shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Adrian, and I promise you. Many, many smooches. Ah, uh, will do. Aw, you're so sweet, Adrian. You really do love me. Well then, dial it up, my love. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. I did it. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and always wanted to date some talented artists. Are any of you out there in internet land talented artists? What's wrong? The screams get louder. Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. It's just you? And me. And we have so much to talk about. I just destroyed the entire population of Earth. Oh, look at this. All names used in the game are from actual computer viruses in history. Cool. I like that. Well, that was Melissa. That was an ending. I'm assuming there's a second one. So I'm gonna try to get it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip through as much of this as I can, uh, Adrian. And I guess when I have a chance, first, let me maybe see if I could select any of the others. Cause it gives me an option for other people that I can date. Looks like we got Morris here. May love motorcycles, blah, blah, blah. What if I choose to date him? Not available, okay. So it's probably gonna say the same thing for all of them. And here's Melissa. All right, I'm gonna go through the motions, um, choose the date. And I think there's a couple options while I'm here. So maybe I can get her to hate me immediately. I don't remember what I chose before, but I'm gonna choose this. I think I didn't choose this. Aw, I'm sure we'll hit our stride together. Let's go to the park, okay. So what if I tell her she's beautiful immediately? Aw, haha, ha. I knew you were a flatterer through our letters, but didn't know you'd be one in real life too. Well, I think you're mighty cute as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we made it to the cafe. Now I think there's, this might be, I don't really think it matters what I choose. What about coffee with cake? Are you gonna, yeah, you're gonna get the same thing. And this time I'm gonna say I like sports. I really wonder what her response is gonna be. Oh, sports. You, 
You're a jock. For the purpose of this game, yeah. D didn't you read my b blurb? I. Oh boy. Here we go. I love sports. Yeah, okay. So excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. Waiter comes and serves our food, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm getting my smooch, and this is where things go south. And I have the ability to kind of change the way things go at the end here. And would you look at this in the flesh, quite literally. So yeah, I gotta I gotta figure out. I wonder if there is only one ending. I think there are two endings. I think there is. I thought maybe my other choices might change the way things go, but I don't think so. I think it just leads up to do two different things. And now I'm gonna go down the path of please don't kill me. Well, being that you're a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. <laughs> oh, I like that logic actually. Okie dokie. That smile. Whoa, it looks good on you. Go back to checkpoint. Okay, so there are like other endings then, I see. That was an ending where I just straight up die. So I think I can go like progress through all the different permutations of what I can select up until the very, very last one. And I think that's like the final ending. So I select, but I really do love you. And then I'm worried though, if I select this, cause I have to go through the whole cycle again. So it might take a little while, but I'm going to try to do this. You're right. I'm scared. Don't worry, BB. <laughs> uh Oh, it'll be over soon. There we go. Okay. I see what's happening. So this is another choice. I'm not going to choose this because I'm just going to die and have to start the process over. I'm going to get it all the way to the end and see what happens. Okay. This is the final choice. So I have a feeling I'm just going to die and will do is like the actual official ending of the game. So let's see what happens if I refuse. I'm sorry, Adrian. I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. That smile. Yep. There we go. Well, I guess that's the end of the game. I thought maybe there would be some other endings, but it looks like it's just the one, but you guys know me, you know, I like to kind of go through the motions and see how many endings I can get. This was good. I liked it. The writing was really well done. I like the concept of it. The idea of a computer program becoming sentient and after being lied to so many times, just becoming angry with the world. I'm not the biggest fan of visual novels just because I feel like not much really happens. That's fulfilling, but this game completely went the other way for me. It felt fulfilling to get that in. So yeah, I'm going to leave this off here. If you guys enjoyed this and you want to try this out for yourselves, be sure to check the link down below in the description. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button down below. If you enjoyed, leave me a little comment. Let me know how you feel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot. Once again, I thank you all so much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take it easy.